let's learn a little bit more about some chords. Now we've got an awful lot of chords that we know now. Between all the bar chords that we know with the majors, the minors, the minor sevenths and the sevenths, and on the A shape, the major, minor, minor seventh, seventh, and also the major seventh, and then all our open chords including the sus chords, we've got a fair number of chords there. But there's always going to be more. Now people often ask me how many chords do I know? Well there is no answer really because there's thousands and thousands and thousands of chords and you couldn't possibly hope to know them all. But what you can do is you can just experiment and come up with chords by on your own. For example, let's just take a G chord like this. If we just move our fingers there, we've created a whole new chord. And all I did was move my second finger down one string and put my first finger onto the first fret of the second string. And that becomes a C chord with a G bass. It's those kinds of examples that keep us going and going and going on the guitar. We just learn more and more and more. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a combination here which might get you writing some songs and carrying on and just and starting to learn a little bit about chords. So the first thing we'll do is learn a new chord. It's called G. Now we've already learned G, we've done it like this. And this way, with the new way is just a new variation on it. We're going to put our first finger here onto the second fret of the fifth string, our second finger onto the third fret of the sixth string, our third finger onto the third fret of the second string, and our fourth finger onto the third fret of the first string. So we have a four finger G chord like that. Now that's a very rich G, I call it the rich G. It's got a very nice rich sort of a tone to it, which the, the other G doesn't quite have that richness. So it's just a little bit of a different sound there. So if I was playing a song where I wanted to have a harsh sort of a G in there, I would play it like this. Now if I was playing a nice so, slow ballad song with a nice G, then I would play it like that. It's a very common popular way to play G like that. So really you should learn them both because this one is the one that I like you to play for the technique purposes and this one here is the one that I like you to play if you want to play something nice and rich. Now let's move on and learn a new chord. All we're going to do is take our first and second fingers, lift them off and move them down a string, just down to there. So the, the second finger goes onto the third fret of the fifth string and the first finger goes onto the second fret of the fourth string. We bring our thumb over the top and muffle out the sixth string and we have what's called a C add nine chord. <laughs> rich sound to that. When all we did was to take the G and adjust it, you might as you might well have come across that by accident, but it makes a nice C add 9 chord. Now that's a very popular chord and the likes of uh, a lot of popular 80s ballad songs use them and it's a very nice combination of the G and the C add 9. See how they work together like a bit of a treat. Now the next chord all I want you to do is take the first and second fingers again, lift them off and move them down another string. And we come down so this third, the second finger is on the third fret of the fourth string and the first finger is on the second fret of the third string. What we have here is a chord called F6 add 9. And that's quite a nice chord as well. So that one works really well with the other ones. So let's try playing a little piece of music. Just going G, C add 9, F6 add 9 and then C add 9 again. the first four bars of a song I'll actually be including on my album in the next couple of years. Anyway, simple ideas for simple songs. So if you play a C chord for example, you've got a finger free, a little finger here. Why don't you just try and put it down somewhere and see what sort of sounds you get. We could put it down there, get a different sound there, we could put it down there, we could put it up here, but that doesn't sound very good. So we just experiment around and that's how you're going to get nice chords coming through, just by experimenting with what you can do. Play an A chord there and we could maybe play it like that, or a D chord, and we could put our little finger up there. That's just playing with that D chord with a little finger stretched up to the fifth fret, and then the sus four and the sus two and the D, and it's quite a nice little riff. Just something interesting there. So that's playing with chords. That's taking our basic chords and trying to make something with them. The three I've shown you, of course, is the G, the C add nine, and the F six add nine. So between the new chords, your good strumming coming along there, and a little bit of technique, you can really get some good stuff coming from your chords. So do work on it.